If you're looking for a daily journal that can track your habits, track recurring tasks, and tell you what tasks you need to do for the day, then stick around and I'll tell you how. Subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay part of the conversation. For free Notion templates, check out the link in the description below. So building this from scratch, what we're going to do is create a database. We're going to see that in the table view and we're going to label it journal and essentially this is going to be where we put all of our information. And then we're going to add checkbox columns which are essentially properties in the database and these can represent all of the different habits that you want to track every single day. The reason we have the habits in the columns is because each row is going to represent a different day. This means that each habit will have a reset when there's a new day. For those of you that have recurring tasks, you can put that in this journal. I do have a video on how I do recurring tasks and the formula that I use. I know some people like to see if the day was successful, so what we're going to do is create a formula that essentially tells us that we've done all of the habits. So we're going to put in those two properties, push AND, and essentially it's asking are these two properties true? If they are, push true. You can now see that when we push both of those tick boxes, that check at the end is now true. To add another property to this check, just push AND and then add in another property because AND only works with two properties by itself. So for each added property, you push an AND before it and then the property, and then you put the brackets to finish off the formula. Now you can see when we've completed all of those tasks and those tick boxes are checked, it will say that we've completed the day, so it's been a successful day. Now because this is a journal, we do need to put a date column in there. Now I'm actually going to change this from a table view to a gallery view, just because that's my preference. Then we're going to change the card size to small. I'm going to show the properties that I want to see, so I want to see all of those habits so I can tick them off from the gallery view. I also want to see that complete box, and I want to see the recurring tasks if you've got recurring tasks in a formula like I showed in that video. As you can see at the moment we have that complete check at the top, but if it's not done it won't show, so I'm going to drag that down to the bottom so it's just empty for those days that I haven't completed yet. Now, because this is a journal, I don't want to see all of my entries, so I'm going to add a filter. This is where that date property comes in handy, because I can just filter for today's date. As you can see, none of those had today's date, so I can add in a new one. It automatically adds today's date in. And just out of my own preference, I'm going to reorganize these a little bit. Then because I like using relations, I'm actually going to name it the date as well, so it's easy to find when relating tasks and things like that. Now when I go down to the gallery view and I tick those boxes, when they're all ticked, that check will come up with a tick box. You can change that tick box to an emoji or something else that you want to remind yourself about, but that's a whole nother video. Now we've actually already created a habit tracker by doing this, so if we have a linked database, going to get rid of all of those empty properties. Now I'm going to turn these into pages so I can move them around. I'm now going to turn them back into the inline database. Now as you can see that table view has the day and then all of the habits and when you add more days in that journal that table will populate each day as a row. You could put this linked database on a separate page for habit tracking so it doesn't clutter up your dashboard. It's entirely up to you because it is a linked database. Now they are just daily habits that you want to get done, but what about the tasks that you actually need to do for personal, university or business work? This is where having a master task database can be really useful. So I'm gonna create a task database that has all of the tasks that you want to get done. going to add some dates in so I have dates for the task. Now what I can do is when I go into that journal database I can add a template and you can see I'm adding a template in the journal database not the task database. I'm going to title it new day, add an emoji just because I can. You see all of those properties are still the same, the formula will still work the same if you do have that reoccurring formula in there. And now what I'm going to do is create a linked database 
to that task database that we just created. And now I'm going to set the filter for that for today's date. So the tasks that are due today that I need to get done for today will show. But because this is in a template, essentially whenever you go into that journal, you're always going to be shown today's tasks because that's what you're asking it to do. And you can see when we add that new database entry, push the new day, and we already have that task filtered in for us. So when we have a new day, we already have our habits there, we have our recurring tasks there, and we have all of the tasks that we need to do right there. If you're interested to see more about recurring tasks, check out this video over here and I'll see you there.